so here is a video tutorial for the drone box. Um, I'm going to explain how everything works. I'm going to make some sounds with it. I'm going to explain how pre-orders are going to work and how you can customize this thing. Um, just be prepared. It's probably going to be a long video. <laughs> so up here at the top, we have four oscillators that are each attached to an LED and they each have their own individual power control. So exposed LEDs are an upgrade option. So are these power toggles down here. You can order this with the LEDs inside so you're not being blinded by it and without the individual power toggles, um, but both are upgrades. So oscillator one, oscillator two, oscillator three, Oscillator 4. These are paired off um, to low and high. So the way this circuit works, they're not going to sound exactly the same at max frequency. Um, I tried to sit here and like create pairs that would perfectly line up with the transistors, but it just doesn't work out that way. Um, that being said, you will, so when this one is maxed out, for example, you can get the same frequency on this one. It just won't be also in the maxed out position. So you can end up with some pretty cool kind of phasey sounds with that. It's trying to create the same frequency, but they're kind of the slight differences clash against each other. I think that uh, just sounds horrible, and that's why I like it. Um, same thing with the high side here. It's a little easier to hear on the high side, um, that kind of phaser chorusy kind of sound that's happening. Um, that's just the slight variations of the sounds coming out of these, just kind of fighting each other a little bit. Um, so the pairs are sent to this mixing section right here. This is going to be your low volume. This is going to be your high volume. And it allows you to kind of blend between those two sounds. It's worth noting that when they're all the way down, it's the sound, there's still a little bit of sound that comes through. I'm not sure how well that's going to come through in the video, but it doesn't completely turn the sound off. Um, but if you have the other one engaged in any way, shape, or form, it's absolutely going to overpower that signal and you're not really going to hear it. Um, from the mixing section, this takes you to your the boost or the master volume you could think of it as. Um, at ba essentially at the halfway point, that's like the normal volume that would happen without the boost circuit, and then it gives you a little bit extra, and then it even ends up clipping kind of towards the end. So think of that as your master volume control, and then this is going to be your filter control. All the way up is your brightest sound, all the way back is your darkest sound. If I remember right, all the way down is going to cut off pretty much everything above 1K, which is a pretty substantial filter. Um, that and then we have a master power toggle here so you can create some kind of cool rhythmic sounds um, that is standard so this 
does come with every single one. These toggles are the optional custom upgrade. Um, so let's talk about options here. So enclosure color is an option. Print color is an option. Um, hardware color is an option. So this is black hardware or LED bezels right here. This is chrome switches. So you can order this in either black or chrome. It'll be the same for both. Knob colors are gonna be an option. And then the exposed LED is an option. The exposed uh, individual power toggles is an option. And the LED color is also gonna be an option. Um, so lots of different options here. It is available for pre-order right now. Um, that's gonna run until August 29th and then I'll get those ordered up. I will probably also make a few for in stock, but those are going to be whatever I decide to, to make those. So regular in stock option, nine volts only. So the oscillators do require 18 volts, um, but there is a charge pump inside of it that does bring nine up to 18. So please do not plug 18 volts into this thing. Um, just a regular one spot like this or a regular isolated power supply would work fine. Um, every sound that you've heard is into a very clean amp. Um, so there's no distortion with the amp. That's all the distortion coming out of this. Um, mostly just the frequencies flashing against each other, but you can also get way dirtier with this. If you want to run some pedals with it is that's what it's for. Um, any questions reach out and yeah, here's a bunch of terrible sounds. <laughs>